And I want to walk through the very first demo here is walking through this entire signal chain. So I have my Microsoft Surface that's sitting here and it's it's got my copy of Winlink up and running. So what I have in my in my setup here, out of my USB port on the Surface, I have a USB uh, port splitter here for. So, so this is, it's an anchor. It just has USB-C ports. It's got uh, USB-A ports on it. And notice I've got a bunch of ferrite beads that are on this. Your USB cables uh, connected to your computer are, are a no notorious place for getting RFI into the overall setup. So more than likely, you're going to need to put some, R some um, ferrite beads on whatever that interface cable is in order to make sure that you're not getting too much noise that's going through. Once you come out of that, this is basically just to adapt the port. So on my Microsoft Surface, I have one USB-C port um, and I need to be able to get out to my other different devices. So next you're going to go the connection all the way over to your interface. So here, the cable that I happen to have is off the digi rig i have a usb c port on the digi rig on one side and then the cable that i happen to have is usb c to usb a so that's why i need to have the, the little anchor adapter if i had an, a usb c direct to usb c i could simply plug that directly into my computer that would be great notice this cable here also has the ferrites on it and this is a cable that's from digi rig and they do these pre-made cables. They have the, the ferrites already installed on them. They're really nice cables. And notice that it's a very short cable. You want to make sure that the cabling is as short as possible to cut down on any RFI that you've got. Okay, so from the digi rig then, now this is where you need the unique cable that's going from your interface over to your radio. And every single manufacturer uses different cable configurations. DigiRig in particular does a really good job of making cables. They make a lot of really good cables and they're all unique to the different radios. So I've got cabling here to connect to say my KX3, which is really a, a great setup. Um, if you buy the Baofeng cables, you also get the programming cable and it just looks kind of like this. It's only the programming cable is in green and the uh, radio control cable is in black. Um, and they have cabling that goes for a variety of different radios. This will go to one of the Kenwood or one of the Yesus that has a, a built-in data port and so forth. There's a, there's a bunch of these different cables that are out there and they're all specific to the radio. But notice what we've got going on here is we're going out of the digi rig and we're going into the microphone speaker port on this radio. So on my surface, I'm going to use this setup and I'm gonna connect the Avara FM, hopefully, uh, to my gateway, which is literally just on the other side of the wall. So I'm gonna come up here for session type and I'm going to select Vara FM has my session type and I'm going to open that session up and uh, it's going through I'm going to turn the radio on here and the radio uh, when you look at your VARA window you can see that my audio input is completely pegged over it's all the way uh, turned up so if I go back over I've just turned on the radio and now I'm going to go through, let me see if I can get this so that you can actually kind of see it on screen. I'm going to turn the volume down on the Baofeng. And you can see that this little light goes green and yellow. What you're doing is as I'm turning this, this volume in very tiny little increments, you can see we're trying to get that BU meter to be about right there at about three quarters level. And so some of these are really touchy to get that audio. And so that's the audio coming out of the radio and it's going into the computer and it's mapping into the right port. We'll look at what the settings all look like here in just a few seconds. Um, but now we're, we're actually all set up. If I look over here on the Baofeng, it's on the correct frequency. So it's on the 145.030 that my gateway is set up on. And I can come over to uh, my VAR FM session, and I'm just going to hit start. I've got it all set up the, to send normal wind link traffic here. And I'll hit start, and you can see as I, I switch over here that the, that the radio is going in and out of transmit mode. 
it, if we look over here into the VARA window, it's making a connection over to the gateway. You can see the VARA traffic that's going back and forth. We had a successful connection and it walked through that entire process together. So this does work. However, I will say working with a Baofeng is really frustrating sometimes uh, because there's all kinds of little gotchas that you have. So for instance, the cable that plugs into here, sometimes that doesn't fully seat and then you don't get all of the audio working back and forth properly. Now, if you want to set up a Baofeng completely from scratch in order to make it work with Vara. I, I have a bell thing here. Let me just make sure this is the right one. Okay, good. So this particular Baofeng is programmed with a variety of different settings um, that are configured here for a whole bunch of things. So your, your radio might have a variety of things set up in it already. Let me show you how you walk through and reset this radio to make it ready to do Winlink. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the menu button and you're going to use the little up and down buttons, and you're going to look until you find the reset all option. Once you find that, hit the menu button again. It'll move the little uh, tick down here to the bottom to all. You hit the menu. You hit the uh, hit menu. It's going to say source. Just hit it again. It's going to say wait, and it completely resets the radio back to the factory defaults. Now, these are the couple of settings that you need to do inside of this radio to make it work. Hit the menu button again, and notice we start off on the squelch. You're gonna come, you're gonna hit menu, you're gonna go down, and you're gonna just drop that squelch all the way down to zero. That's gonna be the same pretty much for every radio that's that's out there. So I'm gonna hit the menu again, and that's gonna lock that in. Now we're gonna go uh, up. Our step is 2.5, that's fine. Transmit power. Now, what you generally wanna do is you wanna set this down, especially in a bow thing, you wanna set this down to medium power. So just hit the, or low power, just hit the menu button and change it down to low and then enter that in. So that locks in your low power. Now, why use low power on these? Well, these are notorious for not having very good filters in them. So if you're transmitting a low power, you have a much better chance of getting your signal to actually go all the way through and have a nice clean signal. If you need the extra high power, you might be able to turn it on and get it to work, but it really doesn't work in all situations. I'm going to hit the menu button uh, again. I'm going to keep going up and the next one, or there's your Vox setting. Make sure your Vox is turned off. You're not gonna use Vox on here, um, but you're gonna come up. The other one that you're looking for is this setting, this TDR, make sure that the TDR, this is so that if you're gonna do um, the dual receive on the receiver, and if you can turn that feature off, then it really is gonna focus in on the A channel. And notice the little uh, blinking light is up here on the A side. So that's where that's gonna go through. The last setting, and you really don't have to do this one, um, but I know it can be a little annoying. Otherwise, if you just scroll, keep scrolling up, you're looking for the voice and it defaults to setting the voice to Chinese. Just go ahead and hit the uh, the down arrow, hit the up and change that to either off or if you really want the voice, you can change it to, to English um, and then turn that off. This Baofeng is now ready to be able to, to do Winlink. So if I go, um, I go exit, I could type in my frequency one, four, five, Oh, three, oh, it's now on the correct frequency. I could pop this out, pull my cable, swap it over to here. And then if the demo gods are with me, it would actually transmit uh, to make this work. Explain something.